Hey, 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 good morning. Welcome to Stick Boy's Lab. I'm Stick Boy. We've got Brian, he's running the camera and doing some other stuff around here, video editing and uh, all sorts of stuff. Today, we're going to be doing shock mounts for the rear axle. We did them for the front axle last episode and we built custom shocks the episode before that. So check those out if you haven't. But today, rear shock mounts. So what we've got is I've got an extra rear axle that I'm using for mock-up purposes. And I've already gone ahead and made a little paper template. So here's the template. It will attach here to the axle mounting bolts. There will be two tabs flipped up, which is where the shock will mount between, like so. So I have two holes to drill in this part and two holes to drill, one here and one here. And it'll sit just like that, and it'll bolt on underneath the existing uh, link bracket. I will probably put a little bit of relief right in this area and bend this whole tab down over the axle to get just a little bit more clearance on that. So once again, we're going to be cutting it out of 20 thousandths, 20 thousandths shim stock. As you can see, I've already got... Um, some lines scratched in here which uh, may serve to confuse me more than I already am. So I'll take this to the bandsaw and make an attempt to decipher my lines. So I have one side cut out here. I'm going to drill a couple of holes in here for relief and finish the cuts. And here we have it roughed out. I need to put a couple of bends in there and drill a couple of holes. So I've got the bed pulled off and the tires pulled off stock shocks are still in place. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the axle brace and I'm going to remove the shocks. So if you take a look here, here is our stock shock, and there is our modified shock. Modified shock has just a little more compression, but it will also droop out if we get our tires heavy enough. Some say that doesn't help, I'm guessing it helps a little bit. And they're much, much smaller with a very similar spring rate. So I had to trim this corner back just a little bit, file it down, so we'll see if it's going to fit. So this slides in right under this mount. We already have all the screws out, and we'll drop a screw in here. And it looks like it's going to fit okay this time. These are stock axles. The axle I was using for mock-up was a Metal Gear version that I've just not got around to putting in yet. So there's the lower shock mount. That will sit in there sort of like such. Getting the rear suspension mocked up, trying to set decent ride height. We're a little bit high right now. Probably need to come down another half inch or three eighths or something like that. But this is where we're sitting right now. We'll come back when there's more to show. So 
So here I have a paper template marked up here. So here I've used my paper template to cut out a couple of upper shock mount blanks. I'll fold these up a little bit and drill a few holes in them and we'll see how that works. So I bent up my upper shock mount. You can see that's where the shock mounts and then there's a lip on the bottom that will hook over the, under the frame rail. If I can show this here, it comes down and hooks just like that. My plan is to just glue these on with some E6000. If they fall off, then we'll drill things and put a bolt through them. But for now, we're just going to glue them on. So you know how this goes. I have to say something like gooby gooby goober when I do this or that probably won't hold. I'm going to stick that right there, scoot it around a little bit. Pull it back off for a couple minutes. So we've got those clamped in place and we'll let those set up and we'll come back a little later. So here's what we look like in a final mock-up. So I had to notch out the bed just a little bit and right here and here to clear the upper shock mounts. So here's a basic mock-up. Flex is still somewhat limited by the stock control arms. It might flex a little better. Things might need to break in a little bit. But I'm fairly happy with that. watching today. really enjoyed doing these shock mounts on here. I'm happy with how they turned out. I hope you enjoyed watching. Subscribe if you haven't. There will be more of this coming. And as always, play nice.